How do you feel about the concept of tradition? Are you someone who believes the old ways of doing things are something to be cherished? Or is tradition to you something that evolves over time? And what if said tradition seemingly had no place for you? Because in Nikki Caro's hauntingly beautiful drama Whale Rider, one young girl is about to shape the destiny of her family, tribe and identity forever. Based on the 1987 novel written by Witty Himira, the story follows Pi, played by Keisha Castle Hughes, a Maori child who lost a twin brother and mother when she was born. Grief-stricken and refusing to follow his father's tribal ways, Pi's father emigrates to Germany, leaving his daughter to be raised by her grandparents. Desperate to restore the fortunes of his clan, her grandfather, Koro, played by Rauri Patene, embarks on a rigorous training regime of his village's firstborn boys, teaching them ancient chants, fighting techniques and tribal lore, hoping to find a new leader amongst them. However, when Pai wants to help her grandfather by proving she has what it takes, old prejudices and adherence to rigid dogmas of the past blind him from letting her participate. Shot in and around the book's central location of Wangara in New Zealand, Whale Rider's story came about after the author's daughters asked him why it was that boys always got to be the heroes and girls were always helpless in the films they watched as a family, prompting Himaira to create the protagonist Pai and complete his story in just three weeks. The casting of Keisha Castle Hughes, who was selected from 10,000 children from several schools in the local area, was made after director Caro stated that in order to find the right pie, she didn't want a child actor or a girl who could play the part, but someone who was the part. As such, the completely untried Castle Hughes is simply stunning in the role, bringing a nuanced pain and naive sense of shame from disappointing her grandfather that is counterbalanced by her fearlessness in resisting his oppressive views on tradition. A remarkable debut performance that was indeed worthy of its Academy Awards nomination for Best Actress, making her the youngest actor to ever be nominated for the award at that time. But it's not just in the performances that makes Whale Rider shine. There is a ghostly, ethereal atmosphere created thanks to the astounding score by Lisa Gerrard. Her dark, sombrous strings combined with Leon Narby's moody yet beautiful cinematography creates a visual and audio experience that is overwhelming in its uplifting power, leaving you quite mesmerised after viewing and perhaps gifting you a newfound sense of pride for your own humble origins and the boldness to question if it's time for old traditions to make a change.